baby. We have an infected crate. Would you look at what we got? Look at that. We are raiding a double decker. Dude, I've never seen this before. Is this an updated base? I have never encountered one of those things. Okay, we got to get you out of here, Mr. Turret. Bye-bye. Thank you for dealing with me, dude. But welcome back to another episode of Lost Down of Survival. Today we're returning today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We have a loot-tastic type of episode in store for you guys. We have one floppy disk awaiting within our inventory that we are going to redeem. We have a brand new bunker alpha and some ticket crates we need to redeem as well. And on top of it all, we have an amazing raid at Player 5339, where we should be walking out of there with some pretty rare guns in the forums of things like scars and vsss along with other dopeness so long story short pretty much everything we're doing today is just going to be amazing in terms of loot not to mention we're going to try taking down the blind one in an interesting way that i've been hypothesizing for a little bit with the help of the active skill mods for the bayonets 8k and the baseball bat two active skill mods that have this very special property where they can completely ignore damage or not damage but armor also today's bunker code is going to be 84129 in case you guys are wondering if that's out of date by the time you're trying to put it in make sure to check that comment section down below phone up today version brought to you by the fan freaking tastic community here at the sniper gang and if you are not seeing it down below you can be the fan freaking tastic ladder last year to toss it down there and help out anyone who might be in need of that magical sequence of numbers to get them into where they are trying to go but this computer is going to be what gets us where we want to go since that will activate the hard mode that we are seeking this will activate the bullets that we got to put into the brains of the fast biters and before we go on this super quick murder spree before of course diving into the uh, yeah, yeet sorry just had to get a little little barrel roll in there i love doing that barrel roll man i wish it recharged faster uh we got the upload the floppy disk as well and that's gonna be pretty important because we do need two c4 for today's raid and we do not have any c4 so uh we need that floppy disk if it's an infected box we are gonna need to cleanse it over at home at our acid bath as well so a couple potential things that we gotta knock out but in the meantime no whammy no whammy no whammy no whammy no whammy, no whammy. pretty decent nothing nothing I'm, I'm sorry nothing get hype over over here don't get me wrong i'm not i'm not talking smack about the glock all right i like me some glocks especially once we get that bad boy modded but nothing super special in that green crate that one was pretty typical let's freaking go i could get behind a little bit of ak and glock action though not too shabby could be better though could have got an uzi maybe could have got some shock and rain in there and hey at least we got an engine part so it looks like today's crates were not the best but hopefully we could go ahead and make up for that over at uh what should i call the airdrop not the airdrop the secret coordinates of the floppy disk and uh collect some of those beautiful things before ultimately collecting the amazing things that today's raid has in store for us also we are switching over here to the military armor just because military armor is usually more than enough to take down the blind one if you do have any health boost because the blind one within one volley of his hits it can do a maximum of only 100 damage so if you have any of the health perk at all you'll be good to go let's hit you with the slow-mo don't start shooting the freaking frenzy giant uh, you'll be good to go so i just like to use the military armor and save our swat armor for better times such as that little raid that we are going to be going on a wee bit later Hello, fast biter. I like what you're dropping. That dog tag will help us get more floppy disks, and that gun oil will help us get more active skill mods, which, as you guys know, I've been having a lot of fun with lately, especially as we continue checking out the ones that update 1.11.8 has to offer, and also checking out, I think we might try and check out some ones that we never had the opportunity to get back in the day and kind of work our way towards those, although part of me does just want to continue hoarding all of our, uh, whatchamacall, all, like, the parts that you got to put into that dang stuff, because there are still active skill mods that have not yet been released released into the game such as like any mini uzi active skill mods uh that's the one that comes to mind right off the top of my head but i know that there's like a variety of them so kind of like how update 1.11.8 did add in like those four new active skill mods in the form of the saw blade mace the spiked board the revolver and uh, what's the last one the bayonet those four were added in you know a little bit later than usual because like usually we had that like one massive active skill mod update that added in a ton this one added in a couple and i'm guessing that there's gonna be a future one that does something similar speaking of which which active skill mods are you guys actually most excited for this is kind of like just a little, little, little thing i'd love to hear from you guys uh which active skill mods are you guys excited for outside of the ones that are currently in the game so active skill mods that have not yet officially been added in personally i cannot wait to see what we can do with the mini uzi but 
then there's also stuff like the freaking sledgehammer like chopper gas tank active skill mod i can't even begin out to imagine how that's going to work or what that's going to encompass so that's definitely something to get hype over as well so go and let me know you know which one of those you guys are looking forward to and any and all that type of jazz in that comment section down below along with maybe how your weekend is going hopefully it is nothing but absolutely a fan freaking fantastic and let's just go and get a little bit of nice little bonus damage off into here and he's gonna try to get a couple of hits off on us and then he's gonna run into the wall and we're gonna go ahead and bombard him full of the bullets and do as much damage as humanly possible and then we're gonna hit him with a little bit of of the bleed in action and bayonet him is he not bleeding by the way am i crazy out here also uh here's what we're gonna do we're gonna let him run into that wall really quickly and then i'm just gonna very quickly heal up to 100 percent to make our lives a little bit easier pump him full of some more of the bullets and pretty shortly here he's gonna go take a snack i'm gonna be like no 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 sneaky snack today mr blind one instead there is only death i will bayonet you i will hit you with that and Okay, yeah, he is bleeding. I was I just, I wasn't seeing those number fives popping up before. Yo, game, do not lag right now. Oh, my game was trying to lag at literally the absolute worst time. Not a fan of that, but I am a fan of all this AK damage we are doing. And let me just say, I, it might just be the placebo effect. I don't know what's going on, but we are pumping the blind one full of damage with this little wombo combo that we have going on. So I'm definitely a fan. Boop. There we go. We got one more shank in there. Super last second. Let's skedaddle on out of there. He's going to run into the wall. We're going to pump him full of some more bullets. And long story short, bye-bye, blind one. It was good toying with you. And woo! We got some bones out of that one as well. Always a sight for sore eyes. And also, you know what I want the bones to freaking do? This is something that I think I've actually... I saw a suggestion about this a couple of episodes ago. Whoever suggested this shouts out to you. This is why I love reading through you guys' comments, what y'all got to say, not just about like what the topic at hand might be, but also just sometimes like some of the random stuff y'all bring up. But with the big bones, you know what? The I, I need these to do one thing. The big bones, because as you guys know, they're relatively limited in what they could do. Pretty much they serve as an active skill mod, or whatchamacallit, for, as uh, materials for one, like a couple of the active skill mods, right? Uh, you know what they should do too? They should have another little bonus, because like, at, at a certain point, you can continue collecting them. They're still rare, but I mean, at a certain point, they just don't do much. You should be able to feed these to our true friend dog and like make them stronger, or like feed them to like the puppy, like a dog crate, or like the puppy kennel, and give us like some kind of a boost. Don't you guys agree? Wouldn't that be an awesome usage of the bones? And like, I don't know exactly what boost it could give. Like maybe if you give it to your true friend dog, it would make them like more powerful, make them do more damage, something along those lines. Or maybe make them like, it could, it could kind of be similar to like a pet treat, where like once your true friend dog starts to get tired and like he won't do anything, like he wants to go home or whatever, it is uh instead of that happening like maybe it would actually like kind of serve as like a pet treat where they would then kind of like be active for longer like i'm saying do more damage maybe for the dogs back in the dog crate if you give them bones it gives them a boost maybe it makes it more likely for you to get like a higher level dog kind of similar to like the uh whatchamacallit towards the other what's the other like pet food i think it's called dog food or whatever where it like increases your chances of actually getting a higher level dog like something like that it'd be cool to have kind of like an in-game relatively acquirable but still pretty tough like you've got to take down some bosses you got to take down some tough enemies to acquire big bones and then to be able to put them towards the dog as well i think that'd be pretty cool you know like let me know what you guys think regarding that i definitely think that that's a cool idea that i especially oh my god why are you in the middle of bufu freaking egypt my guy that is gonna take a poop a ton of energy Woo all right well i guess we gotta start running on over there and then we'll probably just drive over there to finish the drive hopefully acquire that c4 and then head on over to player 53 39 and collect what we need i know that there's an airdrop over there but that is literally dude we're like <laughs> we're in four like three entire different corners bottom right corner bottom left corner top left corner it's a freaking smorgasbord of randomness but let me know what you guys would think around that and like the big bones because that is something that definitely did pop into my mind and i do think it'd be really cool to like give them an additional thing especially since like they are so rare and they're such a special item but i mean all that you could really do is like craft up a couple of bone mods for him like the bone handle for the machete which is a very good mod by the way and a couple of powerful mods like that but it'd be cool to like you know once you have those mods crafted up actually still be able to use them towards something and i think feeding them towards your dogs and getting some kind of a bonus would be a really cool one so let me know what you guys would think regarding that one as well in that comment section down below in addition of course to like i was saying how your weekend is going hopefully fan freaking fantastic and it only hopefully is getting more fan freaking fantastic from here on out and of course that active skill 
Belmont stuff that we were talking about and which of the active, oh baby, we got infected one today, boy. So we're gonna go and try to, hello, computer, you good? Okay, sorry, my computer is just having like a short little freak out session over there. Let's take out the rest of these schmucks and oh baby, baby, we have an infected crate. Would you look at what we got? Dude, there's like a normal crate looking thing over there that someone got busted into and then just this infection. It is so, I just love the freaking like graphic for this. Won't you guys agree? Like I, 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 I don't know. Like, I don't like the fact that the crate literally, ow, hurts me. I'm definitely not a fan of that one, but dude, it's just such a cool thing seeing that crate get infected. I wish that the loot was considerably better though. Like, I, like as someone who has opened quite a few of these, let me just say for the most part, it does appear to be relatively similar. Nothing super crazy, super different. So I don't know. Like I do wish that it was like significantly better. Maybe like if you got an infected crate, because like you do need to have that acid bath ready to go. To, you know cleanse it i feel like it should have better stuff in return but sometimes i've literally gotten better stuff out of like the normal crate than i have out of like infected crates which is just kind of like a little bit off-putting i don't know but uh, let me know your guys' thoughts around that and of course like i was saying how your weekend is going hopefully fan freaking fantastic both in last day on earth and in irl maybe how any of your guys' raids have been going any and all of that type of jazz in that comment section down below along with the active skill mods and uh what was that other thing that i was talking about the dog bones the big bones that type of jazz and also i'm gonna really quickly go over some of those active skill mods here Unch just one second and show off some of what I'm talking about. And we got to go and actually clear out our acid bath and make some room for that. Uh, Cause our acid bath is kind of just a glorified giant chest. But what we do have is obviously like I was saying, the two mini Uzi active skill mods. Definitely looking forward to those and seeing what those actually manage to do. I think the Winchester active skill mods also need to be added. I kind of have some hope that these might be kind of cool. I could see one of these being like a double shot kind of similar to like the revolver with like it being like a retro slash old school slash kind of like just older weapon i can see that happening all the ak ones have been added in i believe the vss we still need the bipod so that'd be pretty cool to see how the bipod ends up coming into place same with the scar i don't think the bipod's in for either of those so i wonder how that's going to work with like having a set shot and that type of jazz uh but i mean other than that like a lot of that oh the spear one's gonna be really cool i feel like we're gonna be able to like throw it or something like that and uh I mean, other than that, like, the other big one that really looks special is just, like, the sledgehammer. But, I mean, besides that, like, we either already have some in the game. Some of these weapons don't even have active skill mods since they're just, like, a little bit on the poopier side. But, uh, yeah, those are kind of, like, the main ones coming. So, what is that, like, four, five weapons that need, like, active skill mods? So, I'm guessing they'll get all of those within, like, probably we can expect one more update to come that involves active skill mods unless of course new guns get added in which should be happening and with those new guns new attachments in their entirety all that type of jazz but uh, okie dokie i gotta go and clear out this acid bath and put a poop a ton of stuff away because as i could go ahead and demonstrate for you guys and gals right over here the acid bath is in uh it's it, it's a freaking mess dude <laughs> it's not good so we completely cleared out the acid bath and it is ready for some fun but this is what i was talking about with like kind of like the true friend dog and like the big bones kind of similar to like a treat for dogs where the dog will be thrilled used only for dogs with the trade true friend and it keeps the dog kind of like active and stuff and then i don't remember where i put my dog food i know i had dog food in one of these dang chests but it is it's got to be somewhere and i'm not saying just like any type of dog food i just mean like the uh whatchamacallit the specific thing called dog food that you feed your dogs not just like meat and stuff, and then it gives them like a special boost or whatnot. Is it in here? No, that's where the treats are. All right, guys, for the life of me, I seriously cannot figure it out where I put my freaking dog food. I know it should be in one of these chests. I guess I'm just not 100% sure which chest it is, but then the dog food kind of serves as like food uh, for the puppers that not just gives them kind of like nourishment for a little while, but it also does this one other thing. We got to go and get a little bit of water, by the way, uh, but it also like increases your chances at getting a uh, higher level dog when you crossbreed two dogs of the same level, for example. So I just think it'd be pretty cool to like incorporate abilities like that for the big bones because I mean dogs freaking love bones I think that's a pretty well documented fact so I don't know also there's some of the rating materials we got and let's go and take the infected box out for the spin and hopefully it does not kill us by the time we walk over there we got a little bit of a trek before that shenanigans happens but uh, like I'm saying let me know what y'all think in that comment section down below and a reminder that that comment is gonna put you one a third of the way into we get to have that I just place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure 
sure to hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed that will let sure you win on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that will be what for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well aka exactly what is going on today so a little bit later in the video in just a little bit we will be announcing the winner from this past week and also today is the first day you guys can enter in on this brand new one so get them entries in lads and last season best of luck in the brand new giveaway kicking off today and to go along with that all like i was saying you guys can enter in on every single last day on earth video going up throughout this next week up until that next saturday where the same thing will repeat and today a new winner will be drawn for the past week like i was saying and then the next giveaway will start in the weekly fashion but without further ado let's see what let's freaking go we got some c4 and do we seriously only get one swat helmet dude I do like the VSS I'm seeing and the Colt Python, all pretty decent weaponry and a lot of copper and other things. By the way, I'll probably just leave these things in here for the time being. So pretty decent stuff. But dude, that is, I still cannot believe that you do not get a full set of armor when you open this stuff up, man. Like you can get a full set of armor out of yellow ticket crates, out of red ticket crates. But you're telling me a floppy disk, which should be like the piece of resistance of its chests like the main thing that this thing really gives you that super special is the c4 like outside of that sure it's nice to get like a guaranteed really nice weapon and sometimes a couple but like you're not even guaranteed like the grenade launcher for example and the fact that you're not even getting like a guaranteed set of swat armor for what should be like the best chest loot opening out there it's just kind of like whack I don't know, man. I really do hope that they buff up the floppy disk, because especially as the economy of the game continues moving forward, I just feel like the floppy disk does get less and less worth it. Besides, of course, the C4 that it does guarantee. And I'm not saying that the stuff that it gives is bad. I'm just saying for what it takes to get a floppy disk crate, you know, it just it, it's it's kind of on the expensive side, man. I I, I think we could all agree with that. But uh, yeah, also make sure, by the way, for that weekly twenty-five dollar I do such place to a gift card giveaway that you guys do have the notification bell hit because that's a great way to stay up to date with every school video. Y'all can enter on for that weekly giveaway not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well that helps you keep track of we just had some awesome fun over in seven days to die a little bit earlier today make sure to check that out if you have not already we've been checking out like some generation zero we obviously have the life after series going on and going strong a little bit of elder scrolls blades that we've been having some fun with and checking that out the newest free mobile uh is that i wouldn't really call it survival necessarily but the newest uh what should we call free mobile game that has come out that we've been having a ton of fun with as well and get out of your zan are you kidding me bro are you kidding me right meow get out of here bruv and uh, there's our arsenal of hatchets that are gonna help us do some very fun deeds today so without further ado we have our weapon silenced it is time to begin everyone's favorite part of the day the daily raid so let's go and commence but that notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with all those other survival games as well and of course a great way to stay up to date with every single new piece of info coming out about last day on earth because anytime anything at all new does come out we are hello if i was not about ready to go I'll, I'll visit you another time chopper i'm sorry listen guys never do this if a chopper ever appears go to it right away i will hit that thing up mm, uh, e, ah, i just want to do this raid already you guys do not understand today's been a lootastic type of day chopper events are bueno maybe we'll hit it up afterwards hopefully it should still be around i don't think this event should take ridiculously long but we will see so let's dive in but that notification bell will keep you up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information as soon as it comes comes out not just as soon as it comes out and gets announced but also as soon as we go ahead and break it down as well because oftentimes we are analyzing that info breaking it down connecting the dots with other information released in the past as well to give us the clearest look at what is to come within the future of last day on earth because that's oftentimes what that info is talking about like future stuff coming to last day on earth which is i don't know pretty freaking cool and well, as soon as that new stuff does come in the form of new updates we are diving headfirst into those new updates and showing off every single new thing that there is new bosses new enemies new locations whatever you name it ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls that stuff is getting shown and also i've been bamboozled because i scouted out this raid i did some research on this raid and there should have been engines up in this part of the base and there is not i broke into that wall for nothing i have been bamboozled i do not like being bamboozled comrade we are off to bed start i'm about to raid this base 50 times harder for vengeance because i am not very happy and then we are gonna go ahead and break into this little fall right over here without further ado bada bing bada boom we are within the first layer and there are some more layers of wallitude that we need to break into but you guys can also see that the enemies are coming at us and luckily this is a pretty nice uh, base for that type of stuff because as you may or may not be able to see there is this giant strip 
of spikes that we could go ahead and use to our advantage and just have the zombies kind of uh, run into them all on their own some and kind of do a lot of the heavy lifting for us because ba boop Let's just go and juke our way out of there and have these zombies. Ah, let's not run into those spikes too much to the point where I die, though. That could have been bad. Uh, have those zombies run into these spikes a little bit more. We do want to save some of our pistol drizzle because there are turrets that we need to take down during today's raid as well. And honestly, eh, that's enough for me. We'll go ahead and just start taking these schmucks down from here on out. And before we dive further into this raid, let's go and announce the winner of this past week's $25 and to such Play Store gift card giveaway. Huge congrats to the randomly chosen video, which was where we got freaking kidnapped. Yes! Yes! That is right! This week's randomly chosen video reminded me of the traumatic experience where we were abducted from our own homes, but in happier and less traumatic news, huge congrats to my man James Jornales with, of course, the comment making fun of us. Haha, <laughs> you've been kidnapped. Thank, thank you, James. Thank you so much. But, uh, yo, huge congrats to you, my man. You are the winner of this past week's $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. Go ahead and reply to that pinned comment in that comment section down below, letting me know the best way to go ahead and privately get in touch with you, whether that be via like email or Twitter or Instagram, or just whatever's the best way that I could privately get in touch with you because I need to get you that code and I cannot just like reply to your comment with that code because then someone else will see the code and someone else will be like, oh, piece of candy and then redeem the code. So we can't have that. So reply to that pinned comment with the best way for me to privately get in touch with you and get to work on getting you that code on the double butts. Best of luck to everyone else in the brand new $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway that is kicking off today. And again, huge congrats to the homie James on this past week's $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. So get them entries in as the videos continue coming out. And best of luck. I'll be seeing you guys in next Saturday's drawing for this past week. But hokey dokey, as you guys can see, there is some C, there is uh, some turrets. So we will put down the C4 right over here. Oh, look at this. How convenient. Bada bing. Bada boom. We are into next layer. Oh, problemo. We have zombies we need to deal with. Oh, problemo solvero. That's not probably words at all, but, uh, yeah, yeet. Let's go and skedaddle our way out of there and have these zombies running into the bajillion spikes over here. So all of the fast ones should easily be dropping dead by the time they get to us. And then these fellers over here, they might have a little bit of health left over, but I ain't worried about that. I'm still pumping full of that lead. Goodbye to you, Mr. Toxic One. Oh, what's that? You got bloated buddies? Well, guess what? They gonna suffer the same fate, mate. Goodbye and off Vita Shane and said them. So this is the best way that you guys are gonna want to ultimately do this raid over here. You guys can see a pretty decent like uh, listen. I'm not a man to complain about full stacks of turkey. That keeps your dogs fed forever. I would not suggest cooking turkeys. Save these and feed your dogs with them. Because, oh, mama, they will be fed for a while. Even my filled-to-the-brim dog crate gets fed for a decent amount of time with the help of those things. But check it out. Here we got this schmuck. And, oh, look at that. We are raiding a double-decker. Dude, I've never seen this before. Is this an updated base? I have never encountered one of those things. Okay, we gotta get you out of here, Mr. Turret. Bye-bye. Thank you for dealing with me. Dude. We, oh my God. This is, I've, from all of our daily raiding experiences, we have yet to encounter one thing like this. That means that this might be with some of the updated loot all the way from update 1.11.7 because that is when these things got introduced, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm recalling my numbers right, but, oh mama. I was not expecting to be raiding this today. What do you have with it? Oh, baby. This is the stuff that we're talking about. Let's freaking go. I like what I'm seeing, and hopefully you guys do as well, because I am a happy freaking camper right now, and I'm pretty sure I'm about to get even freaking happier. I love this base. I love this base. I love this base. I might even take that. Oh, baby. Hold on. We got to go ahead and a barrel roll. Okay, that was not a smooth barrel roll at all. You got to die. Please stop clogging my lane. We got to go back to the spikes. I'm trying to save my pistol durability as much as we can. But, dude, I, I has anyone encountered trunks yet? Or the double-decker storage shelves? I have yet to see a single one of those in any of the raids. Ow, don't stab me. I've yet to see a single one of those throughout our raids. So finally getting to see those is like a mythical beast because we've had them in our base for quite a hot minute. But to see them in the form that they are now, the freaking shelves and like, I, I, I'm, I'm a happy camper, man. Because the loop behind it was pretty good as well. It's pretty hard to complain with that. <laughs> oh, this rage is good. Yo, today's been a good day. We got a floppy disk. 
we got some crates i mean the crates out of the bunker weren't the best but yo uh, i think today's raid more than makes up for any funny business that went on down at the bunker i am what's the word i'm looking for happy yeah yeah, that's definitely the word. I'm freaking stoked about this. Yo, I seriously hope any of you guys out there with 2C4 get lucky enough to get this base because holy guacamole. It's 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 good. It's good. Like, what, what, what else can a man say? It's a good raid. And I wonder if that refining furnace... Ooh, it gets better. Uh, oh, we might actually need that to refill our chopper for all the driving we've done. Uh, we also... Oh, a good amount of furs. We have, are we evading a fur trader or something of the sort? I don't know. <laughs> but all right, let's go and put these things away. Oh, yeah, man. That is just good. Good vibes only. And I am loving the vibes we got out of this. We got a minigun. We got a VSS. We got a scar. We got a shotgun. We got some pistols. We got some medals. We got it all. The entire shebang. I might leave one guess behind because depending on what we could drop it for, I'm not really super keen on picking up one guess. Yo, computer, calm down, bro. Calm down. Don't be lagging now. Don't accidentally run out of bounds because that creates noise during raids. I do not want any more noise than what I need to deal with. Uh, we'll go ahead and break into this and see if this has anything good. Oh, let's go! Uh, but wait, Billy Mays here. There is more. Oh my god, when even the furnaces are stacked like that, you just can't go wrong. Ah, we're going pretty right. There's no wrongness going on here. No, do not accidentally break into something. I don't need any more noise being produced. I'll take the baseball bat because I could turn that into a pretty nice active skill mod at this point now that we've unlocked the spiked one. Uh, I will be picking up these furs, and I'll be saying uh, goodbye to the gas in exchange for some strong alcohol. What is case? Ow, starvation! Okay, oh, speaking of which, yo, I'm gonna leave the beans behind. I'm sorry, beans. You know I love you to the death, but you must be left behind. I'll be picking up the furs. We gotta leave behind some of our hatchets and stuff. Honestly, I'll probably just pick up some meat so we could have the puppers fed for a little while. Oh, we'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. What does that leave us with? Three of these things? Yeah, it's pretty decent. Why don't we go with, like, the full stack? Get rid of that. There we go. Bada boom, bada bing. We got a flare gun, too? I was, I was too focused being hyped on all the other stuff. I completely missed the fact that there was a flare gun. I'll take it. And... I, 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 I'm, a, I'm just... I'm, I'm happy. I hope you guys... Hey, I hope your guys' rating luck is as good as mine is. Because I'm just going to say, like, within the past week... This may have been like the best week of raiding we've had in a while. We've just gotten non-stop pretty good raids, bro. And I like that. That makes me happy camper. I like be happy camper, don't you? I, I do. I do. But all right. Oh, he's even got the blind one head over there. Uh, now the moment of truth is seeing what these things got within and hoping for the best. Because, ooh, we can also put... Uh, I'll put the flare gun away. That leaves us with an extra slot. I'll pick up a pile of meat for the time being. And we got to get ready to commence because, oh, me, oh, my. Okay, that's got carrots and stuff. Hello, Mr. Blind One. How are you doing? Or Mr. One who happens to be big. He ain't blind. I'm sorry for calling you blind. You're not blind. I, I would never uh, miscategorize your adjective. He's He's big. Not blind. I'm so sorry. I always get it mixed up, my man. I'm a, I'm an awful individual, I know. And, uh, ow, don't hurt me too hard there. I think we want to try and run out of bounds around this way. Usually you want to run out around, like, the north, like, absolute north corner of the map when it comes to this, but I do not want to do that today because this base is a little bit smaller. It's a little bit more compact. So instead, I want them going around the right side since the entrance way that we're interested in is kind of on the left side. So let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 let's go, let's go, 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 other furnace I've ever found. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up. There's a little bit, something a little bit better than disappointment here. I am pleasantly not disappointed. We got some aluminium we need to claim. We're gonna go claim that right, right about now. Uh, first things first though, we gotta heal. Cause yeah, we'll just use the med kit. Yeah, we gotta stack up our aluminum. Dude, th this just everything, even the normal furnaces, man, not just does the advanced furnace have good stuff. So does the normal furnace. What is going on? Why is this raid so good? I'm not complaining about it. I'm just quite, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, game, listen, I'm not saying never give me raids like this. I'm just saying, I, I'm, I'm curious. 
I'm just curious is all. Please continue giving me raids like this. I cannot complain. Give me the aluminum barrel. Roll the hell out of that. Thank you so much for the generosity today. Peace and love, maybe. Actually, no love for you. Actually, no, you can get some love, big one. All right, listen, I love everyone. Hope you have a fan for a fantastic time. Just please stop trying to kill me. And we have a chopper event to head to on top of it all. So that is where we will go. Shoot some mother truckers in the face and go ahead and start ending off with today's adventure and loot packed episode and uh we got a oh beautiful so this is the one where we just get to watch the horde freaking feast on all these dudes so yeah show me what you got is it gonna be the horde today or is it uh hopefully it's the horde because then it's even less work from us are you gonna betray me broski no they're actually getting attacked by the horde you should go help your friends man because I'm, I'm not gonna. What are you doing over there? You're doing like some kind of a dance? Is this an interpretive dance, Mr. Survivor? Your friends are being attacked by zombies. Go help them out, man. Oh my God, one of them died. Wait, he already died already? That never happens. Oh my goodness gracious, RIP. Oh, these guys are only focused on me. That's the thing too with this horde, little interesting fact. If you're the closest one to them when they spawn in, they will aggro you. So as long as you're further away, then these survivors, uh, you should be pretty safe to go. I'm just trying to make sure the. Can I loot? Can I loot their dead friend? Are they gonna? Are they gonna be mad about that? No, they don't seem to care. All right, finders keepers, bro. Why? Thank you for the. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Are they aggroing me again? God dang it, they are. Ah. Uh, all right. Well, if that's the case. Uh. Well, one guy's at his gun already broke, so I don't even know what these guys are gonna be up to. Uh, don't mind me just uh, being the uh, <laughs> Just being the thing to distract these zombies while the survivors do all the heavy lifting Dude, that guy's bat's about to break too. This is whack Dude, if this is actually the last wave of the horde though, it's kind of nice because that just means Well, it kind of sucks because that guy used up all of his pistol and okay. Yeah, they're they're gonna be attacking each other now Here's the point in time where I just start to oh, they're coming after me Oh, no, 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 they want my blood and also the survivors are not gonna be happy with me um, here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I, I just, uh, I don't want to shoot the zombies. I want to shoot the survivors. Let me just say, these are genuinely the stupidest zombies of all time. Like, they are getting smacked in the face, but they're like, we only want Papa Star brains. Brains. And I think, yeah, they're not very happy with how I acted. So I'll hit you with the slow-mo, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take you out before Mr. Slow-mo guy over there can get to me. Ow! Because he actually has a weapon, so he's a little bit of a threat. Boop! Let me just go in and set you on fire really quickly, mate. Hope that's cool. Slow mo and a burn, baby, burn, burn, baby, burn. <laughs> Never gets old. So we'll go ahead and probably start collecting up a little bit of their loot. There's a lot of time left on this event, too. So we could always try and come back here, too, since our inventory is chock full of loot. And oh, goodness gracious. It's about to get even chalkier than ever before. Is that, does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. You know what I'm talking about, though. There's more loot coming our way. What about you, Chopper number two? Do you have something good in store for me? It's, it's okay. Could be better, could be worse. And finally, does maybe Mr. Bag also have something good that he wants to give to me? Come on, baby. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. And we got some band-aids and stuff. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and kind of start, like, collecting everything that we got over here and just try to leave behind absolutely minimal stuff possible worst case we can still drive back here and we do have a little bit of energy to spare to kind of like shorten the amount of gas we got to blow through but uh, i think that there's enough loot over here for us to maybe warrant coming back since we did have a very full inventory you know but uh yeah that's gonna start wrapping it up for me for now thank you guys a whole ton for watching huh this was an awesome one i'll talk to you next one see it